mighty Google. Tell us what to believe today. Where is Tardardia? Oh, I get it. There is no mud flood. The whole mud flood psyop is just a modern twist on the sky is falling. Fear poetry to pre-program everybody to fear the unknown. To fear that disaster may strike from on high without warning. Like most multi-channel retard earth psyops, the mud flood circus is also a test to see who has a brain and who thinks for themselves. Sure, there are floods and mudslides all around the world, but YouTube slideshows of the discovery of old abandoned masonry is an illusion of mud flood. Because every abandoned structure gets overgrown with weeds, bushes, vines, trees, moss, mushrooms, and all sorts of vegetation that together with creepy critters slowly tear the stone and everything apart. The trees overwhelm the rock. The living trees overwhelm the rock. Paper, rock, scissors. It's that simple. Eventually, the plants die and rot and transform into dirt and soil. And then more plants grow and die and rot. And then along comes a bum flood, earth tired, multi channel YouTube circus sensation announcing mud flood, mud flood, worldwide cataclysm must have caused this disaster. Roll back the tape. We're going back in time. Before everything gets torn apart and rotten by nature, along comes Dr. Livingston, halfway through, who doesn't know whether to save the trees or save the masonry. While tree huggers wrestle with what to do, some folks decide to clear the brush. Man hacks through and burns all of the overgrown vegetation away to uncover the abandoned structures. <laughs> Every mud flood mystery is explained by overgrown vegetation that either rots, transforms into soil, or dries and burns. Sometimes man intervenes early, sometimes man intervenes late. Now we'll look at the Devil's Tower. All of these little trees growing like mushrooms around the plateau, chewing away at the basalt stone. The tower is not a tree stump. That's ridiculous. The stump shape that we see is a result of natural erosion. The roots of the trees and bushes gradually crack the stone and it all crumbles down to create the shape of a stump. Unfortunately, many people are born and raised in a concrete jungle and never get the pleasure of witnessing natural erosion. All of you retard earthers going on and on for year after year spewing out the same mud flood bullshit story should be ashamed of yourselves. Taking advantage of poor city folks stuck in front of television. Who writes your scripts?